In this tutorial, we will use a motion tween effect to move an object, but instead of just moving an object around the screen, we'll also get it to spin around or rotate. So to get started, you just need to create an action script 3.0 file. Okay, and then grab the shape that you're going to use for your motion tween. Um, or you can draw up a different shape using the pencil tool, or you might be inserting another um, symbol or object that you've already made. But for this example, I'll grab the rectangle tool, uh, pick any color, and I'll draw it up here on the left hand side. Okay. Then I'll grab the selection tool, and I'll right click, or if I'm using a Mac, control click on that object and click on convert to symbol. I'll just give it a name, rectangle. Okay. And then right click on it again. And we want to create a motion tween. Okay, now the timeline has just extended to 24 frames, which is one second. And that's how long this motion tween will be. It's jumped to the 24th frame on the timeline. So now that we're at the end of this motion tween effect, we need to uh, tell Flash where we want the object to end up. So where we want it to travel to. So we can just move it down here at the bottom corner. And you can see that there's now a green line there, which indicates a path that this object will travel across the screen, just like that. If you want to make the motion tween a bit longer than one second, you can just go to the end of the motion tween effect on the timeline. Your mouse cursor uh, will change to a, um, an, a line with two arrows on it. You can just click and drag on the end of the motion tween effect to make it longer. So maybe 60 frames. Okay, now to make this object or to make this rectangle rotate as it's moving, you just click anywhere on the motion tween effect and then on the properties tab over here on the right hand side, you can go down to rotation and you can choose a direction that it will rotate in. So CW is for clockwise and CCW is for counterclockwise. So you can choose counterclockwise and then you can also specify how many times you want it to rotate. So it could spin one time or you could spin a few more times. Out. So you might rotate it five times. Drag it back to the start and click on play. And there you have a motion tween effect, which is also using a rotation to spin the object. Okay, now what I'll do is I'll just undo everything and go back to the start. Okay, so I've got a, a clean file here to work with. And I'm going to use that effect again, but I'm going to use it just a little bit differently. So what I might do is I'll grab the rectangle tool, but I'll change it to an oval. And I'll draw up by holding the shift key down, draw a perfect circle. Okay. Um, what I should have done actually was I'll undo that and I'll change the color just so it's white. Draw it again. Oops, we need a um, stroke color so we can actually see it. Draw it again. Okay, now I can grab the line tool and I can draw a vertical line there and I can draw a horizontal line there. It's not, they're not perfectly in the middle, they're not very good, but uh, we'll see how this works in a sec.
Okay, so I could probably draw some more accurate lines. And there we go. Okay, now I can grab the selection tool and I can click and drag over it to select every line and the circle. So I can select everything and then right click on that and convert to symbol. This time I'm going to call it wheel. Okay, and this is going to be like a wheel on a car. So I can right click on it again and I can click on create motion tween. And I can make that motion tween effect go a little bit longer. But instead of moving this object, instead of moving this wheel somewhere else, I'm going to have it just in the same spot, but spinning in the same spot. So I can click anywhere on the motion tween. I can click on clockwise direction and I can rotate it a few times. And I can just click on play. Okay, so that's an effect that you could use for um, a spinning wheel. Um, and you could have it moving at the same time that it's rotating. But in this example, I've shown you how to use a motion tween effect to spin an object without actually having to move it around the screen. It can just stay in the same position. Okay, so that's how you use a motion tween effect for rotating objects. Thanks for watching.